Good people, Jack and Free, Strike Farms Training in Atlanta, Georgia. Just wanted to do a quick holster review. Going to keep it really simple, and it shouldn't be hard to do because it's a simple holster that just does what it's supposed to do. What am I talking about? The Appendix Green Force Tactical Holster. Boom. I mean, it is everything it's supposed to be. Easy to draw, easy to put back, no problem. Okay. Of course, everybody, you know, you get used to pulling up high, putting, boom. Okay? Let's talk about the holster for a minute. Soft loop, love it. Uh, don't have one of my other crappy uh, hard clip. I'm looking around, thought I had one here. Anyway, we all are familiar with the, the, the crappy loops, the J-hooks a lot of people like. Let's look at this thing up a little closer here. Uh, again, soft loop. The thing about it is the uh, the snap does take some break-in time, which, hey, that's okay. If it's going to break in and last, it is a made in the USA. Oh, excuse me, tough as it can be. And when I say tough, I don't mean hard to function. I mean tough as in working. Let me lower this camera angle down just a little bit here. Um, get, get the holster a little better. Um, there we go, it's in view. Uh, anyway, I've been wearing this, <coughs> excuse me, for two to three months, somewhere in that ballpark, I'm not sure, pretty much every day. The holster has little to no wear on the outside of it. I chose to go with a closed end. I like that uh, for multiple reasons. It keeps uh, any my garments from getting caught up in there, which is a possibility when you shove your, hol your uh, pistol back in the holster for it to catch some garment, and then you wind up with a problem pulling out. As far as trigger cover, uh, perfect. You can see the safety, I mean, not safety, I apologize. The mag release has even got a nice little molded place in there. The retention has got a retention screw on it. Uh, I've got mine running kind of loose. Let me see. Well, I say kind of loose. There we go. Um, so that's pretty good retention. More than some people are going to want it a little snugger than that. I'm comfortable with it because once you put it inside the waistband, which let me show you to put this on, uh, say you already have your belt on, uh, a lot of cases, you know, the soft loop is great. You just boom and you're done. I love that because it's so much more secure than the clip, unless you, you know, and if you have a clip that's really secure, then it's a pain in the butt to get off. This, if you get home, uh, or not if, but when you get home, <laughs> you know, most of us carry around the house. Uh, we, we know the motto there, uh, always be prepared, kind of the Boy Scout thing. But when you get ready to undress at night, you can either undo your belt, pull it out, or just simply undo the holster. Take it out, snap it, put it wherever it is that you store your firearm. Uh, I carry, my EDC is a M&P 9mm shield, you know, single stack. I love it. Let's look at just the holster for a second. Again, like I said, it's a Kydex formed holster, and Christian does an awesome job on all the custom stuff on his website. Check the website out. It's, you know, I will say that the one thing that Christian and I have talked about, the website does take some getting used to. It's not, um, it's not that it's not user friendly, it's just a little bit different. Uh, and I, you know, not trying to say that in a negative light, but I have had some people ask about how to navigate around it. Once you do it though, it's easy, no problem. Uh, but again, this holster is held up. Uh, uh, you know, not really, get it in the camera view, not really wear marks per se. I mean, it's remarkable how well the thing is, has done with little to no wear. Uh, inside the holster even, yeah, you can see uh, just very little wear in there. And guys and gals, I kid you not, I've been, this has been on my person uh, every day, and I wish I had, had dug up the invoice, uh, and maybe maybe we'll comment on how long that's been, but it's just been an incredibly comfortable, this is the most comfortable appendix carry, and if you've seen any of my videos or you know me, uh, I prefer appendix carry, and it carried every brand out there, uh, I mean, Bianca Galco off brands i mean you name it I, i've pretty much tried it uh the, the hybrid holsters cross breeds the super tucks and all that stuff i've tried those hands down 
the Green Force Tactical appendix inside the waistband holster has been the most comfortable. And there has been occasions <clears throat> that I've taken this and put it, you know, at the five o'clock or four o'clock uh, and, and carried it. I'm not real comfortable with that, I guess, because I got that little bit of fat there that gets in the way. But in the car, it's, it's also uh, uncomfortable. Whereas uh, you've seen pictures, you know, drawing from, from a seated position. I really like the appendix carry and this holster is fit just right for the adjustment uh, pelvic bend uh, I'll show you uh, as far as bending at the pelvic uh, I don't have an issue that that would be normal carry for me I can bend over touch my toes I mean uh, full function uh, it's very discreet uh, I'm comfortable where I carry it um, you know it just works for me and yeah I, I'm not a six-pack ab guy I've got I mean I've got the age on me I got the the belly there but it's still it's a very discreet holster I you know white shirts even it doesn't stick out I said I was gonna keep this short and sweet I'm gonna tell you right now the Green Force Tactical appendix inside the waistband holster absolutely rocks again the most comfortable holster I've had uh, in that position I also had to make me a thigh rig which I'll do a, a video on that but just nothing but good things to say. And I mean, positive engagement when you reholster, uh, and gunfights aren't worn on, uh, won on reholstering, they're worn on the draw. And this one is super, super good to draw from. Uh, anyway, I love it, check them out on the web. I'll try to put a link to their website. And uh, Christian Green and those guys are doing just a heck of a job. I know they don't need me pimping their stuff out because Everybody and their brothers using it from SOE, Masada, Yub. I mean, I don't even know everybody. I mean, this stuff is really good. There's a lot of Kydex makers out there, but uh, I'm really digging this holster. It's super, super comfortable. I cannot tell you guys how much that uh, comfort means to me when it comes to especially appendix. Uh, because let's face it, if it's not comfortable, you're not going to carry it. And leaving that, that weapon at home, that firearm, that gun, uh, whatever terminology you want to use in your walk of life at home or not on your person in the car in the glove box don't do you a bit of good. Uh, it's super easy to carry and you can get you know again custom they got some awesome colors I mean I just went with black because of my it's my EDC and it fits in with what I wear but anyway uh, <laughs> Appendix inside the waistband, Grain Force Tactical, rocks, no doubt about it. Get you one. The price is right, the fit is right, fit, form, and function, bam, nailed it. Anyway, Jack Spree, Striker Firearms Training, guys, I appreciate you watching. Remember, it is your responsibility to protect yourself. Whose responsibility? It is yours and yours only. So take it and, uh, and go with that. God bless you. God bless America. See ya.